Howdy folks, today is Thursday, January, or February 4, 2021. Um, I'm going to show you the top of this uh, cabinet and then I'll take you and show you a, a light fixture that I've been working on putting in in the bathroom. So this is the cabinet. I still have to uh, put my doors on. They're made, but I got to stain them and varnish them and then put them on. Um, this is the countertop. And so this wall is not square against that wall. So I had to figure out the angle of the dangle and I cut it. I'm pretty pleased with it. Uh, I'm going to put in three outlets, one there, one there, and one there, basically one in front of each of the cabinets. And my countertop, you know, I glued this up oh, probably two years ago and then um, just recently had to put another extension on it now that I was going to use it for this, but it was ended up being too short. And... Um, so you can see these boards run like this, but here's one that goes from front to back on the fireplace. That's called a breadboard um, cut. And uh, so what I did is I figured out how this has to be. You can see how nice and tight I have it along here. Uh, this will get uh, the bookcase that goes on top of this. So basically I gotta stain and varnish my doors and install them, install the three outlets here and then I'll put two over there and then build the bookcase. Um, so I'm real pleased with the way this turned out. Gotta put a little stain here, you can see. Um, but all in all, I think it really turned out every bit as, ho as good as I had hoped it would. Now, we just had Christmas here. It's February 4th. We had Christmas here last Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, one of our daughters came over with her husband and three kids, uh, and we had them here Friday night, Saturday night, and then they left Sunday afternoon. Uh, so I, I was on hold as far as doing anything. But um, here's our hall bathroom. And, uh, you know, it's not done other than we do have the fixtures in. But uh, I want to show you something. It's pretty well lit, well lit up at this point because I put up this uh, three gang and then we've got a nice mirror that Linda had purchased here in the last week or so that um, goes up to about here. So my problem was, how do I get a wire up to there and hooked into this, this switch? So the first thing I did is I have to cut the wall open, but you see it's too close. If you take this switch and you go down, it's too close to this. So what I had to do is approach it from the hall side, the other side. And uh, I basically have to, not basically, but I do actually have to come up through the stud and then uh, bring it up all the way and then take this cover off and undo the wiring and attach that black and white and neutral uh, or uh, ground to the applicable wires in here. So, you know, on these boxes, normally, uh, so what I had to do is come in from the bottom, move it around so that I could get in, get my wire up through the bottom, and then hooked it up, and then to make sure that I had it hooked properly, I took the wire downstairs that was laying down in the basement now from here, 
that we had just put in and I hooked it up to a, a light fixture just to see if I could if it would go on and off when I flipped this switch and lo and behold it did so uh, that's why I have two here is I had to be able to be close to that box so that I could run it up in now I made one two three holes so that I could pull or grab wire and I've got a fourth one up there that this thing sits in but um, so when I wanted to seal these back up what I do is I put a board inside this hole and I attach it to the drywall the board maybe goes like from here down three or three inches or so below that hole and I attach it you can see these screws that I have outside and then I usually put four on the uh, attach it to the board now this all of these pieces that are attached this one and that one and this one were the ones that I actually cut out when I made those holes big enough that I could get my hands in so uh, I've got those all assembled now I have to next thing I have to do is to put my drywall tape on and I have two different kinds of drywall tape and I'm actually going to go out on YouTube today and see which one this one is sort of a fab a mesh I always used to like these but I think sometimes you maybe end up with a little bit more drywall patch on it than uh, you do if you use this paper tape. Uh, now I haven't used this paper tape in probably 20 years or paper tape. Um, so I'm going to actually go onto YouTube and see which one they recommend. Um, but anyways, when I was down stairs, I had to get that wire that I had run down into the basement. I had to get that so that it was coming up this wall. And so what I did is I took a, I had to find a place where I could drill through because you see in this cavity, this, this 14 and a half inch cavity, I have a hot water line, a cold water line, and a waste line. And I had to be sure that I was gonna be able to drill into this cavity and not hit pierce any of those water or disposal lines. It took me two tries, but I finally did get it. And the first time I put the stick up, and I took about an eight-foot stick and just to run it up into the hole that I drilled, which was an inch, uh, it seemed like I was hitting maybe a cross piece. And it bothered me. I didn't know how to figure what the problem was. And then I let it sit for a day, and at night, I thought about it and I then took a dowel and sure enough, I must have just been hitting a screw or something. But when I used the dowel, I was able, I could see that I had a clear shot. So what I did is I taped a piece of string, strong string to the big stick and it got to about here. And uh, then I was able to grab it. I took the string off and then ran the string up to the hole that I mentioned I have up here. So I had the string downstairs and then I taped that to the wire, the electrical wire that came from here up through this wall and into that light fixture. So um, let me tell you, it took me three days of work, uh, probably three hours a day. I'd say I probably have 10 hours into getting that thing to work the way I wanted it to. I'll put another one in the honeymoon suite in the bathroom there. I'll put a light in that closet. I'll put a light in the utility closet. And I think I'll have three lights, one over each of the vanities in the master bath, Linda's vanity, my vanity, and then she's got a little dressing table. I call it a beauty bar. And we'll probably put a light over that too. So. 
I'll probably have uh, six more lights, five more lights by the time we're done. Thanks for following our progress.